Cherry shock. Cherry shock. Cherry stock. I'm tripping. Cherry stock. Right now he's getting killed. So I got in at like 35. And I also got a. I got a call option for 37.50. I think until like September or August. I don't know. I already got all my, already got all my uh, things set up, and I actually bought like some common stock in there for, uh, for really all I'm doing is just buying a loo, selling high. I mean, it's a good company. Already did my uh, my report on it, but as y'all can see, man. Yeah, the bottom right now. So you ain't saying it's gonna go up tomorrow. You ain't saying it's gonna gonna go up shit next week. But you know, next week. Uh, like I said, today Wednesday, and I'm back. I'm not gonna be scanning the market and seeing what I can find. If I can't find none, so big. I can find like some stocks, some good companies that's sitting at a good price, and then I'll go ahead and set up my target. Uh, Price targets. That's one thing that I learned from and from investing, like from these past years that I've been doing it, is if you see a company that you like and it's not at the 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 it's not in the range, the price range that you really wanted at, um, you can always wait. Just whatever range you think. Say a company is at, for example, say a company is at fifty dollars and you think it's overpriced. And you want to get in at thirty dollars. I'm just say thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, but is that fifty? Stay at fifty for for years to come. It might not never even come down, to be honest. But your job as an investor is to, if that's not the price that you want to get in, then don't get in. Like, an investor can wait. An investor is patient. You want to get in at the price that you want to get in, not the market. You want to get in at the price you want to get in. So if even if you want to get in at thirty and then never go to thirty and then drop down to it drop down to forty five or forty two, get in there and then try to average down there if they go lower than the price that you got in. Keep like averaging down and whatnot. But if it, if it never go down, then you just got to get in. You got to take it because that price from fifty, whatever it shoot up to a hundred, you never know. That's the one thing with the market; you, it's not really predictable at all. But yeah, like I was saying. You want to get in where you want to. You want to get in the price where you want to get in at. Not the market. Not anybody else. Not any news. Not any analyst telling you this. Of course, the price gonna fluctuate up and down. Everybody know this. It just is what it is. That's that's the name of the game. But yeah, that, but that that's what you want to do, man. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get in this market and see what I can find. See if I can find any deals. And whatnot. So I'm back, guys, and as y'all can see on the screen right here, I found a stock that I'm in, that I like. I found a stock that I like, and I feel like it's a good bargain for it. It's two zero. Everybody know two zero. How many legs do it take to get to the center of the two spot? No diddy. But yeah, that's. I found two zero though. And honestly, it seems like it's it's sitting at a good price. It's just a little come on. Let's try to stop. Two zero. Do the two zero. Do the two zero. Do the two. <laughs> Y'all probably too young for that. But yeah, here I got is two zero, bro. It haven't been in at this bottom low since the last time it, it, it been this low, or not even that low. But yeah, basically the last time that if it have been this low is October, around October 2023 and September 2021. So the average has been way up here. Right now it's basically in consolidation. 
is in consolidation. I, I see it as consolidation. You probably don't, but I don't care. I see it in, in consolidation. I mean, I will use, I will buy this stock just to hold. I, I probably won't even, I mean, I would, I ain't even gonna care. I probably would buy cars with this, but this would just be like a, this would be one of my dividend stocks. Cause I mean, Tucero been a, around for years, man. Before I was born, before you was probably was born. Before I was born and probably before you was born. Let me clear that up. Tucero been around a long time. And as y'all can see, let me go here. They got a dividend that's been trailing for 12 months. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they've been paying their dividends for a long time. Um, they priced the book is in a good area that I wanted to be. It's under um, what I wanted to be. They don't have that much debt as, at all either. So they probably using that. They probably using their their cash that they got on hand or whatnot. They using their cash. They they not using a lot of debt. So since they not using a lot of debt, not saying that's a good or bad thing, but this is a good thing for Tushiro because. They've been around for a long time, bro. This is a good company. And, I mean, it's just selling low. The, um, that's what happened with the market. Sometimes it's just sell low, sell high. So, I want to get in around, go back to the trading view. I wanted to get in down here, but, I mean, it, it looked like it's just going to, it looked like it's just going to go up. I don't know. But I'll probably get in tomorrow, probably just put $100 in it. Overall, uh, Shutterstock is a good company, bro. Like, I looked into it, and it's actually a good company. I can't complain about it. Like me looking at it, all this what's in it, it's, it's good. They making money. They know how to make money with their money. <clears throat> um, they not using. They don't. They not in that much debt either. It's a good PE, and what else? I mean, it's good. Honestly, bro, it's actually it's, it's a wonderful stock, and I'm gonna get in it. And you do what you wanna do. <laughs> Disclaimer in the uh, gonna be in the what's next. But yeah, man, I'm excited for this. I'm excited anyway. Cap, yeah, boys. Even when it get to like 37, bro, I might even. Honestly, bro, if it can break this higher, I mean, if it can break this. This higher high right here at 38, 38-ish, 39-ish, if it break right here, but I can, I probably just go in for, I probably go in for uh, some more uh, calls. Just long-term long calls. Let me, right now, let me go in here and check, see what, Cause I'm at 37 now. I mean, this end is at 37, but I don't. Let me see. Uh, let me see November. -ish. I can go ahead and go get these for for dirt cheap. If you know what I'm saying, well, that's not even dirt cheap. 70 is pushing it, not for the November. That's pushing it. I mean, that that'd be a good one. November though. I don't know. I don't know about that. 2025. 255. Damn, man. I'm gonna wait that long. December. December on the rock. Fifty dollars is what that's pushing it now. I'm stay within and just go all the way up like that. Three hundred pushing it, pushing it. September. September for the forty is is. September for the right there, yeah. I can get in right here. For September. September twentieth. That probably be my next targets right there. But for 240, I mean for 125, I can do 125. I can do one, I can, I can do 125 for, for 45. I can do, I can do that. 
I, I can do that. I can see that. But it's just it, it's just all about what price, what my price, um, what the price action gonna do for me, and then I can I can get it from there. But yeah, but like I said, that's that's what we got for today. And honestly, now, I'm gonna watch me some anime and just.